Hi, this is Joe Noda with Epiphany Cardiography Products, and I hope you're doing well. We wanted to go ahead and create a rather simple demonstration of utilizing the Apple iPhone to access ECGs on CardioServer. We'll use Safari here, Apple's web browser, to access CardioServer. First thing we'll need to do once we're in CardioServer is to log in. We'll enter our username, in this case it's Jay Smith, and then of course our password and then we'll select go. Once we're in CardioServer, you'll have access to the patient records again according to your own user permission levels. You can sort by patient's first name, last name, or medical record number or just select from your list. In this case we'll use George Franklin for our demo here. Now once the iPhone loads the study you'll need to go ahead and scroll to the right. And there you go. Now a nice feature of the Apple iPhone is it gives you the ability to zoom in. And because we store our waveforms as vector PDFs, you'll have that nice, clean, crisp waveform. Now what if you want to compare ECG side by side? Well in that case, we'll go ahead and select the Compare ECG button. One note I wanted to make is that I'm using a wireless cable modem to access these studies to kind of give you a sense of the load times. And again, that can vary depending on your own internet connections. We'll scroll to the left here and we'll pick a previous study from 1114. And then we'll go ahead and zoom back out. And now you can see those studies side by side. And let's zoom in to, let's say, V5. And there you go. Another nice feature of the Apple iPhone is if you, again, turn the device horizontally. It gives you a little bit more viewing angle or viewing real estate to look at your ECGs. I do hope you found this presentation of value. And if you'd like additional information about Epiphany's Cardio Server, please look us up on the web at www.epiphanycardio.com or send us an email at info at epiphanycardio.com or call us directly at 804 744-8931. Thank you very much, and have a great day.